Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to start um, with, yeah, how long has this been planned? I mean, have you known about this potentially happening for a long time or is it something that's, you know, come out quite quickly? Um, it's been, it's been, um, it's been, in, it's been there for a while. It's not just like an overnight thing. Obviously, with this sort of thing, it does take a little bit of time. It's, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, thinking, of, I mean, <laughs> I mean, all the days blend into one, so you sort of forget. But yeah, it's certainly been in the pipeline for for a while, and um, you know, it's certainly been in, it's certainly been going through sort of the legal stages of things, you know, before you get announced for for a good couple of months now. So um, yeah, so yeah, we have been aware of it for for quite a while. Obviously, you never you're never quite sure how things. Are. You've always got options, you know. We all, we always had. Well, we, we we were always, you know, obviously where we play now was never going to be the um, long term home of the Giants. So um, we were always looking, if you like, or you know, always looking for the option to to take the club forward and where we go. And obviously, we've we've got uh, a good solution. Yeah, and you said about um, not having a permanent home. Do you think that having a, a new arena, new facilities? Do you think that's going to attract a bigger fan base and kind of kick on the Manchester basketball, do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's just everything for me. I mean, I've been at the club for nearly two years and the problem you've got when you don't have your own facility is that everyone's dotted around everywhere. So, you know, we train at a couple of different places. We play, at, you know, we play where we play. We train at a couple of different other places. Uh, our, our men's, uh, sorry, our National League team, train and play at places our junior teams play and train at places our netball teams train and play at places and it just means that in terms of not just from the not just from an outward facing point of view but even having all them hundreds of people that are actually representing the giants on a weekly basis having all them under one roof is actually going to be a massive positive for the for the club and and yeah you know i, I think it's well documented about our current venue um you know, and uh, you know, without wanting to be disrespectful to to those people, because you know they've been great with us. Um, to have somewhere that we can put our own stamp on, make a proper basketball facility, and um, not only for the pro team but for the, for all the community and and all the junior teams, that's that was the priority for the club really. And yeah, you know, from my point of view, my my focus is on the pro team. You know, my focus, and my role is. Is developing the professional team and and getting like say more fans in, more sponsors in, more you know more revenue opportunities for the club and and of course having your own having your own facility helps you to do that you know just to give you to give you one example we we don't have a physical shop or you know um, whereas you know in our own venue we we'll be able to have an online so so like for instance if we sell something online we can't sell our kits online because we only have access to the kits on a, on a match night which obviously when we sell them now we do have a range of stuff that we sell online yeah. exclusively but obviously if we have a shop in our venue you know we can sell everything we've got at 24 7 if you like so if, if you want to buy a shirt on a tuesday you know i can go down to the shop get it out post it out to you. do you know what i mean it's like yeah, yeah. To, a sim, you know simple thing i know that sounds that probably sounds quite obscure and quite a simple thing but you know when you consider the logistics of stocking and packaging and you know who's going to do it actually it becomes quite a um, quite a logistical task. Uh, yeah. Just little things like that, really, that probably people from the outside won't necessarily appreciate, but certainly from us inside the club and from working on the club, um, a lot of little things that are gonna are gonna help. And you know, for me, I want the kid. You know, I want the kids who are representing Giants and you know under 12s at 14, 16. I want them people to come to the pro games and cheer the pro team on. You know, that's yeah. what I want. That's what it should be like. You know, I want them to bump into your Callum Jones and, and Austin Rettig and David Kadir. I want our kids who are aspiring to be like those people to bump into them guys in the Giants arena, you know, after training or, you know, having a coffee and stuff like that. And yeah, yeah. That's, that's the opportunity that this that this development gives us. Yeah, I mean, that, it all sounds great. That It's great that you're finally getting that sort of uh, facility and also it makes all of the logistics of the business easier. I mean, looking at the the bigger picture of the league, obviously, I think it's fair to say the league is moving forward in that respect. Like Newcastle getting their own arena as well. I mean, how long do you think? Obviously, you know, you've just been through the process of building your own, well, kind of putting together this pitch and this idea of your own arena. How long do you think it's going to be until we see, you know, teams across the league having their own facilities? Do you think that's something that needs to kind of needs to kind of happen sooner rather than later? 
I think from a business point of view, ultimately it becomes a lot more sustainable if you've got control over your own over your own venue. Now, obviously, every club has got different challenges. You know, like one what a big challenge for us is, is is training, is training for the players. You know, giving the players somewhere to go to to get shots up and stuff like that. Now, obviously, when we have our own place, that's a problem that's solved. Other clubs will have different challenges. Um, you know, I, I know Tony at Glasgow, Tony Garbalato at Glasgow quite well, and I know he's frustrated at some of the. You know, he wants to get more court time in the evening, for instance, and he can't for various reasons. Now, obviously, having your own facility gives you a little bit more flexibility, but then having said that, I know Leicester have different things going on at there. In terms of for the league, of course, yes, more clubs have their own venue and have a bit more flexibility and, and have got basketball specific arenas. That's obviously better for the league. Um, and, you know, I'd like to think that. That all clubs are, are aspiring to that. I know, obviously, Bristol are talking about a new place. Um, I think the talk at Sheffield, I think, of a new, yeah, of a new Sheffield place as well. Yeah, um, you know, obviously, got Newcastle. I mean, Leicester's obviously, but you know, for me, I, I love going to Leicester. Obviously, we have a lot of meet, we have a lot of league meetings and, and other bits there. Um, we're there Saturday. Um, it's not the thing is with Leicester is I like that it's a nice venue, but it's not unattainable. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's not. It's not a, you know, it's a nice. It's a nice setup, but it's not like no club in the BBL could sh- should not be able to aspire to get to that as a, almost as like the next step for any club. Um, yeah. You know, obviously, yeah, of course, we'd all like to be playing in ten thousand seat arenas, but you know, you've got to be realistic. Um, yeah. And so that that's the model. Um, I think that clubs have got to go to because that's your main cost. That ultimately, at the end of the day, the rent and um, you know. Pay, you know the outlay for courts, whether it be for matches, for training, whatever. That that is one of your main costs, and then having your own place enables you to manage them costs a bit easier. But then also gives you more more opportunities to generate revenue in in other ways. Um, yeah. You know, it'd be great. I mean, to be honest, I I mean, I've been you know I go everywhere with Giants, so to be honest, you know, I I know about our venue, but you know, a lot of the venues in the league are are good. Um, you know, I really like Plymouth, even though Plymouth's an old venue, you might say. You know, I really like what they do there. Um, you know, I like going to Glasgow. Just It's easy for me on, on the train from where I live. Um, yeah. You know, it's a nice facility. Um, every club's obviously at a different stage. From where we are as a club, certainly this is a um, a big step forward for, for us. Yeah, and then you were saying about, um, obviously, it's easier for training and things like that if you've got your own facility. Do you think that having that, you know, having your own venue, your own place for the players to go, not only at youth level, but also at the professional level, do you think that's more likely to attract, you know, names to come to Manchester, make it a, a, a bigger destination for players, if you like? Um, I think so. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, Manchester's obviously attractive anyway, um, mm. you know, uh, you know, as a, as, a, as a city and as, as somewhere to live. You know, yeah, on the court, results haven't been haven't been great over the past few seasons, but I think generally, I know we've only won two games this season, but generally we've, I think we've made good steps forward this season. We've been a lot more yeah. competitive. It's just, you know, sort of the rest of the league has, but a lot of the stuff that we've got going on in the background, you know, the, the players, the development of players, the coaching, the scouting, all that sort of stuff is, is way, way in advance of where we were maybe, you know, last season or the season before that. Um, Will having this venue attract players? I mean, obviously the proof will be in the pudding, and we'll see. I don't think, I don't think it would necessarily make. Uh, well, I mean, it, 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 it's one of them. Obviously, when you get players over and they've not played at our venue, they probably don't realise how bad it is until they come. You know, at the current venue in terms of the cold. You know, you know, everyone talks about being cold and and whatever, and it's almost like. I guess in sort, is that something that puts a player off from coming? I'm not sure. Um, yeah. It might actually be better for us retaining players, if that makes yeah. sense. You know, yeah. like, you know, if an American comes over and and enjoys it, you know. Um, but I I, I, I wouldn't say it's, it's probably make up. I mean, I think if we were doing better and we were competing for the playoffs, I think that would attract players, whether we were playing at the new place or the current place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, it's been really interesting hearing what you have today, and thank you for your time, James. Yeah. No worries. Anytime.